Welcome back to the Super Brands show only on ET Now. On this series, we tell you the untold stories behind the success of India's most powerful brands. Next up is the story of a brand that you may not recognize by its brand name, but it's one that literally powers your work and living spaces. Well known in the B2B space, Polycab is the name to reckon with when it comes to cables and wires. Over the years, this super brand has moved with the times to diversify its product range and include fans, switches and even LED lighting solutions. Take a look. Most Indian consumers might struggle to recognize what the Polycab name stands for. But this company in a span of 40 years has emerged to become a 4,500 crore rupee empire. We have a market share of about 40% amongst the top six companies in our industry. We have 16 manufacturing plants. We today are exporting to 30 countries. Polycap is India's largest manufacturer of cables and wires. For a company to have such a large stake in a product segment that has such widespread use is no small feat. From power plants, airports and metros to places where we work and live, Polycap wires and cables are quietly running it all. I think Polycap quite frankly touches India in ways that other brands don't. Right from the time power is generated, power is transmitted, power is distributed and power comes into the lives of people. It is our cables, our conductors, our wires that are carrying all that. Through the years, the Polycap brand has remained concealed behind walls or buried underground. But its growing impact on people's lives was always visible. Today, Polycab lies at the center of our lives and millions continue to interact with the brand's products without even realizing it. This quiet dominance of Polycab was set in motion many years ago at South Mumbai in Lohar Chol, a market famous for its electrical goods. After the passing of his father, Girdhari Jaisinghani, the oldest among four brothers, was about to have his life completely transformed. He had to abandon his college education and come back to Mumbai to take over his father's electrical goods business. In 1965, I was in engineering college. Within a month, my father died. Actually, I wanted to complete the engineering and uh, wanted to uh, go to USA. But uh, uh, suddenly, I had to take full responsibility of family. It was a modest operation, just one small shop amongst many others at Lohar Chol. But the young Girdhari Jaisinghani had a lot to learn. Actually, I didn't know anything in uh, business. So when I attended a shop, nobody knew me in Lohar Chol. And, uh, so I thought, why not to meet everybody and introduce, introduce myself. And gradually, they became my friends and uh, we got uh, good uh, sales in all the items. It wasn't just dealers and customers that he had to get familiar with. Girdhari Jaisinghani had undertaken the daunting task of understanding the business operations through and through. He was the sole breadwinner for his family and it was crucial for him to get the house back in order. The younger brothers who were still in school at that time also decided to forego their education and step into the family business to take it to the next level. I had done 11th. After that, I never thought it is not necessary to go to education because it's a problem of to handle the business. I immediately joined business. My brother gone to college. Immediately within a year I told him you also come, demand is good, why not we work together and see our future in this. With rising demand, the brothers soon needed a universal name for their brand of cables. As our uh, item is cables, so why, why not to uh, uh, make only cab? Only cab was such a 
uh, impression name that it, it became famous all over India, even abroad. Polycap needed customers and it wasn't going to get them through advertising. The only way to grow was by establishing strong business partnerships with the people who were going to sell its cables. They have given us all kind of support, all kind of facilities to get the material approved. Whatever the things required by the any common man or any dealer distributor, that particular time, I am talking about very long back, both the brothers has supported very well. They even meet up with architects, with consultants, and along with their dealer force, their relationships, I think, have been outstanding. The company saw a phenomenal rise in demand for its products. To meet this, Polycap set up 16 manufacturing plants across Daman and Halol. That time, see, manufacturing was very less. We have seen a very good growth. That time was an excellent time. So continuously we have seen a growth. Then we second brother came, then third brother came. So we three together was handling manufacturing, elder brother was handling ready. By now, Polycap was becoming a trusted name in the market and its clientele now included some of the biggest names from various industries. From a size of just 20 crore in 1990, the company became 150 crore in the year 2000. And it became a 4,000 crore company in the year 2012. And it's at 4,500 crores today. So that's entrepreneurship. At the center of this growth was Girdhari's younger brother, Inder Jaisinghani. He was instrumental in making Polycap the dominant leader of the 23,000 crore rupee industry of cables and wires. A tremendous appetite for risk taking. The ability to execute, the ability to be hands-on, and the ability to be clued into the market needs. I think these are the entrepreneurial qualities that have set him apart and help bring, build brand Polycap. Polycap, a brand that had largely remained hidden, was about to tap into its countrywide dealership network to go beyond wires and cables and make consumer products. We are present today in more than 100,000 electrical outlets in the country. We have 5,000 direct dealers. We have over 200 direct distributors and we have a presence across 25 locations in the country. Why can't that distribution machine be leveraged to offer many more products for the consumer? Polycap started manufacturing its own line of switches. This was a product that was often bought together with wires and now the company had its very own solution. It also went on to launch its own range of fans the designs and styles of which were unlike anything available in the market. Subsequently, Polycab ended up joining the LED revolution by bringing a host of lighting solutions to the market. One key strength that Polycab has is its deep engagement with the channel. The dealers, the retailers, the stockists, the electricians, the architects, and consultants and when we look at uh, fans and other such uh, products typically advertised through mass media for household consumers we find that the decision making of households in many cases is influenced by the channel and I believe uh, Polycab will be able to leverage that to enter into the fans and other house, household electric products much more easily than others. Today, Girdhari Jaisinghani goes back to where it all started, a 200 square feet store in Lohar Chol. His was a family that believed in dreaming big and with Inder Jaisinghani's vision, the family now reigns over one of the biggest super brands of India. And we not thought that we are going to grow so good and we are going to get so good support from the people. We were not thought that because that time we are not looking that lo long market. Today, after so much experience, today we can see. The brand Polycap continues to increase its visibility by positioning itself at the very center of consumers' lives. 
It even went on to launch its very first television campaign. तो अनसेफ वायर्स क्यों? पॉलीकैप वायर्स चुनिए। पॉलीकैप की ट्राइगा टेक्नोलॉजी बचाए फायर से, शॉक से। So what we did was created a positioning, safe रहो, safe करो, from Polycap, India's number one cable and wire company. And we came up with a television commercial, we came up with a whole lot of collaterals, we did some good work in terms of Facebook, LinkedIn, and that is how we are on the brand journey. Starting out from a small electrical shop, Polycab expanded to become the nation's biggest manufacturer of wires and cables. It's a brand that grew alongside a country's needs and progressed with every relationship that it built along the way. Today, Polycab finds itself serving an expanding market of one of the fastest growing economies in the world. And with the trust it has established over the last 40 years, it's going to be a name that will continue to stand above the rest. Polycab, in fact, has increased its turnover by 100 times in the last 16 years. With that, it's time to call it a wrap for this week. But don't forget to join us again next week because we'll be back with two more super brands and the incredible stories of their ambition, perseverance and business excellence. Till then, it's goodbye.